It's Saturday morning and I'm almost done with my trip. I left yesterday on Friday about three o'clock from Dayton and flew to Atlanta. Had about a five hour layover and then took a flight from uh, 9.30 last night till 9.30 this morning Brazilian time, uh, which is two hours ahead of Eastern time. Um, so got here in the morning, uh, sat next to a really nice guy from America, had a chance to talk to him a little bit about spiritual things and um, then landed here this morning after getting a little bit of rest on the plane and so it wasn't too bad. Um, a pastor and his wife that live here in Sao Paulo, um, they have an apartment, so they came and picked me up, and they're going to let me stay the day here for a few hours. Um, i got to go back to the airport around uh, 3 o'clock or so, and then take the final flight, uh, just about a two-hour flight to Brasilia, where uh, my final destination is. And so, looking forward to connecting with some of the people there. It was great to see the pastor and his wife here. I saw them on my last trip. And just anticipating what God's going to do. I, I hit the ground running tomorrow morning. I'll be doing two services uh, tomorrow morning and tomorrow night. And then right into um, a full week schedule of traveling and speaking every day and all kinds of things happening. And so just anticipating what God's going to do on this trip and um, enjoying the beautiful weather. It's hot, uh, but it's beautiful here in Sao Paulo, Brazil. service last night and reconnected um, with some good friends that I'm staying with and so we had a, a late meal got to bed really late uh, short sleep but this morning we're heading uh, to Pastor Ayrton's church um, his uh, church I spoke at last time I came as well um, we work a lot very closely with him and so I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, speaking a message about why we need to be prepared as Christians for the second coming, what that means in our life. And um, so looking forward to see what God's going to do and being able to see some friends and uh, connect. Uh, it's going to be a busy day of ministry today, but I believe uh, God's going to move. Sunday afternoon and this morning uh, we had a great service at Pastor Ayrton's church. Um, it was great to see a lot of uh, friends and body of Christ that I haven't seen since last year so that was a blessing. Uh, we had a really good service. I spoke from Matthew 24 and 25 um, with three parables about how Jesus thought it was so important uh, for believers to be prepared for his second coming. Um, then Paulo, uh, the director of Pure Life and Victor, my translator, we went out to lunch. Um, actually used that sermon as an opportunity to minister to the waiter, asked him I told him what I had shared and just asked him if he felt like he was prepared for uh, the second coming and he said he was and he was getting married in about a year and they were getting married as Christians and so we, we prayed for uh, him and his uh, fiance. Um, and then now we're um, in another part of Brasilia where tonight we're going to be uh, ministering at the church that's right behind me. I'm um, looking forward to uh, sharing a message here and uh, meeting some. This is a church I haven't been to so I'll be meeting the pastor and the congregation for the first time. Uh, but Paulo shared with me how much he, he really loves his church. It's a great body. And so looking forward to ministering here. And I'm just getting prepped for that. Sunday night and we just got done at this family church um, that we went to a lot of young people and their and their kids come to the service 
Um, they had me in. I'd never been here before. I had a chance to have some fellowship this afternoon with the pastor, an amazing, humble man of God who loves Jesus and has a heart for this community. And um, during worship, it was incredible. The presence of God was there. God gave me three prophetic words uh, for people. And so before I spoke, I shared those and God began to move and <clears throat> shared, shared the message about reaching the lost. It's a simple message about the need for the church to get out and um, had, some, had some words for people and they came up at the end and we prayed for the, a burden for the lost. The Holy Spirit showed up. Uh, people wanted prayer for and it was just incredible. People were getting touched by the Holy Spirit in a lot of different ways. God was speaking to people. Um, and at one point in time, we had um, all the teenagers and young people get up front. We prayed for them. And to see these young people, even five, six, seven years old, crying out to the Lord with tears and um, just so hungry for God, it was such a beautiful sight. At one point, I'm in the middle of a uh, prayer line praying for people. And um, the, some of the kids had made me um, little like love notes that they wanted to hand, hand me. So when that happened, it was kind of, my, it was, I was broken a little bit with love for them. There was one uh, young man specifically, probably around seven or eight years old, while I was praying for him, I just felt the, a passion of the Holy Spirit and the love of God and his, for, his, for him. And I just broke weeping and we wept together, this young boy with tears streaming down his face. And I told him how much his gen gentleness and his sensitivity to the Holy Spirit meant to me. Uh, he came back at the end and uh, shared with me through the translator. He said, you have no idea what you being here means to me and what you said, how much it impacted me. And so it was just a beautiful night. Um, we saw the fire of God fall in a special way and it was just uh, really grateful for how the Lord's moving on this trip. And I'm getting ready uh, to get back um, and, and get some rest because I'll be speaking um, every day for the next several days. Tomorrow we have to travel to Caldas Novas, which is a several hour drive. Um, but it's been amazing, a great day in the Lord this morning and tonight and super excited about what God's gonna do the rest of this trip.